Chapter 7 Safety and First Aid Learning Objectives 1 Safety Rules at Home On the Road 2 First Aid and Its Application in Case of Minor Cuts in Wounds Nose Bleeding Fire Sprain Poisoning Burns Animals Bite Let me answer What are the 20 items in the First Aid Box? What color is the First Aid Cross? Uses of First Aid Minor Cuts in Wounds Burns, sprains, poisoning Our top priority is keeping ourselves safe. How can we protect ourselves inside the home and how do we use first aid and safety rules? For example, suppose your friend gets injured while playing, what would you do? You must inform elders, clean his bound and take him to the hospital. Safety rules at home a number of accidents happen at home. We need to take extra care in the kitchen. If there is a gas leak, warn everyone in the house. Open all doors and windows in and around the kitchen so that the gas spreads out. Do not operate any electrical switches as it may exploit the gas. Gas the leakage repaired immediately. If the oil in the pan catches fire, control the fire by covering the pan. Throw some baking soda on the burning oil. Never throw water. It will splatter the oil and spread the fire. Never leave the kitchen or bathroom floor wet. Someone may slip on it and get hurt. In case of fire breaks due to an electric fall, do not try to extinguish it with water. Electricity with water becomes dangerous. The current will spread to the water and anyone touching the water will get a shock. Throw banana peels and other wastes in the dustbin to avoid slipping over them. On the road, keep to the left while walking on the road. Do not get rid into or out of moving bus or train. Do not peep out of a moving vehicles. Play only in safe places like parks and playgrounds, not on the road. Cross the road using the subway or at the zebra crossing. Learn road signs and follow them. They inform you about the road and traffic. Fire safety. Electric fire. Switch off the mains. Throw sand or mud on the fire. Never use water in case of electric fire. Water conducts electricity and you can get an electric shock. Petrol and kerosene fire. Throw lots of sand on the fire. This will cut off the air supply and the fire will stop burning. Never throw water as petrol is lighter than water and will float on the surface of water and keep burning. In case of big fires, call for the fire brigade. A fire extinguisher can be used. It may have either a chemical or a gas which can put out the fire. First aid. We should try to avoid accident by following safety rules. However, if an accident happens, the injured person must be given medical aid before doctor's arrival or must be taken to the hospital. This immediate help given to an injured person is called first aid. It is very essential and can save the life of the injured person. Different types of injuries need different types of first aids. Let us know about how to give first aid in different type of accidents. Minor cuts and wounds. Firstly, wash your hands before giving first aid to the injured person. Try to remove all the dirt from the wound with small pads of cotton soaked in detol or sablone. Cover the wound with a clean cotton dressing to stop the bleeding. Deep cut. If the cut is very deep and is bleeding heavily, it is important to stop bleeding. First, wash the wound with soap and water, make a thick pad of sterile gauze and press it over the wound. If the bleeding does not stop, use a tight bandage called tourniquet. Nose bleeding During this summer, bleeding from the nose is very common problem with children. Follow these steps to give first aid in the case of nose bleeding. Ask the patient to sit on a chair comfortably with his head tilted back and arms folded above the head. Prepare an ice pack by wrapping X cubes in a cloth and crushing the ice. Apply the ice pack on the patient's nose. This will also reduce bleeding. Ask the victim to breathe through his mouth. Also do not allow him to blow his nose. Fracture Any break or crack in the bone is called a fracture. The fractured bone causes a lot of pain. The affected area swells up. You cannot treat a fracture at your own. The only first aid you can give it to ensure that the fracture part should not move anymore. Follow these steps for first aid in case of fracture. The person with a fractured bone should not be moved without proper support. Keep the patient calm and comfortable and then call the doctor immediately. 
tie a splint which extend above and below the fractured bone to give support to the broken bone if the fracture is in the hand make a sling using a cloth or a bandage the sling gives support to the arm and prevents the movement if the fracture is in the leg tie a splint around the fractured leg do not allow the patient to move his leg at all if the patient has to be moved he should be carried on a stretcher take the patient to a doctor sprain sometimes joints such as the ankle get twisted and swell up the tissues around the twisted joint are damaged this is called a sprain sprains are very painful for first aid a cold ice pack should be used Wrap over the sprained joint with ointment such as move or relax all two or three times a day. Wrap the crepe bandage around the sprained joint after rubbing the ointment. Burns One can get burns from hot objects like fire, boiling water or milk crackers and chemicals. In case of minor ones, apply cold water or ice cubes on the burnt area. Also apply an antiseptic. Animal Bites The saliva of animals such as dogs, cats, monkeys, wolves and jackals contain viruses of a very dangerous disease is rabies. When these animals bite someone, the virus enters the victim's body through the animal's saliva. They cause rabies to the victim, so it is very important to treat animal bites immediately. Wash the wound with soap and water to wash away germs. Apply an antiseptic on the wound. This would prevent infection. Take the victim to the doctor immediately. The doctor may give anti-rabies injection. When a snake such as cobra or rat bites someone, it injects poison into a victim's body. This poison travels through the blood and affects the heart and brain causing death. If a snake bite apply a tight bandage just above the bite to stop the flow of blood to the heart and brain. Do not move the victim any kind of movement with ball cause the poison to spread faster in the victim's body. Try to get the poison out from the wound as quickly as possible. You can do this by making a cross out about half centimeter deep over the bite with a blade or by sucking the blood. Take the victim to the doctor. The doctor may give antivenom injections. Fires. Fires can be very destructive. To prevent fire, these simple safety rules should be followed. Never play with matchsticks and crackers. Store petrol and kerosene oil in airtight cans away from the fire. Do not wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen. We are only cotton clothes. Make sure that the gas stove is switched off when not in use. If the clothes of a person catch fire, cover him with a blanket or thick cloth. This could cut off the air supply and the fire would be extinguished. Putting out fires. Even a small fire in the house can spread very fast and cause great damage. Hence it is important to control it quickly. We can control all types of fire either by cutting off the air supply or by reducing the temperature of the burning material. Fire extinguishers are devices to put out fires. There are many types of fire extinguishers. They contain carbon dioxide, CO2 gas or foam. The gas or foam surrounds the fire and put it off by cutting off the air supply. For petrol or kerosene oil fire through a sand to cut off the air supply to the fire water should never be used in this case because petrol is lighter than water so floats on it the fire will then spread faster for electric fire switch off the electricity mains when the fire is caused by an electricity short circuit throw sand on the fire never throw water over a fire caused by electricity since water is a good conductor of electricity and you may get an electric shock poisoning both polish and nail polish paint detergents naphthalene balls and some medicines if swelled are poisons and often deadly such things must be kept out of the reach of children in case of poisoning try to make the victim vomit give the first aid quickly rush the victim to doctor facts to know while giving first aid Avoid direct contact with bodily fluids and blood whenever possible. Wear protective clothing such as disposal gloves to cover any cuts, scrapes or skin conditions you have. Wash your hands with soap and water immediately after giving care. Let's recall 1. Most of the accidents occur due to our carelessness. 2. We should try to avoid accidents by following safety rules. 3 different kind of injuries need different kind of first aids 4 wash your hands before giving first aid to the injured person 
5. If the cut is very deep or bleeding heavily, it is important to stop off bleeding. 6. The fracture bones causes a lot of pain. 7. If there is a sprain, rub the area with an ointment such as move or relaxol. 8. If the clothes of a person catch fire, cover him with a blanket or thick cloth. Word Power Antiseptic A substance that helps to prevent infection in wounds by killing bacteria. Creep Bandage A strip of cloth used for tying on a part of the body to protect it. Gauge A variety of measurement instrument used to measure temperature, diameter of wire, etc. Train your brain. Cross Curriculum Connect 1. Answer the following questions in short. A. Define the following in one line. 1. First aid. 2. Rule of safety. 3. Saliva. 2. Fill in the blanks. A. The immediate help given to an dashed person is called first aid. B. Any break or crack in the dash is called a fracture. C. In case of small burn, apply a dash cream on the burnt area. D. The saliva of dogs and cats contain dash. E. In a snake bite, the doctor may give dash injections. 3. Answer the following questions. A. What is first aid? B. How would you help if a person gets a minor cut or a deep cut? C. How would you help someone who has nose bleeding? D. What is fracture? What precautions you should give to an injured person? E. How would you help the person with sprain? F. What will you do as a first aid if you get burned? G. What first aid should be given in case of a snake bite? 4. Take the right and cross the wrong statements. A. We should wash our hands before giving first aid to an injured person. B. If the bleeding stops, use a bandage called tourniquet. C. In case of a fracture, it must be ensured that the fractured part is not moved. D. The saliva of animals such as dogs and cats causes a dangerous disease called rabies. E. Naphthalene balls are not poisonous. 5. Multiple choice questions. A. Which statement is wrong in case of poisoning? 1. Try to make the victim vomit. 2. Give the first date quickly. 3. Rush the victim to doctor. 4. Act upon the advice of a no wise. B. Which statement is wrong in case of safety? 1. Be alert. 2. Be properly dressed. 3. Avoid being overconfident. 4. Do not follow the safety rules impatiently. C. Which statement is wrong on the road? 1. Keep to the left. 2. Do not peep out of a moving vehicles. 3. Cross the road as the zebra crossing. 4. Cross the road in a hurry. D. Which statement is correct in case of animal bite? 1. Wash the bound with soap and water to wash away germs. 2. Apply an antiseptic on the wounds to prevent infection. 3. Take the victim to the doctor immediately. 4. All the above. 6. Give one word for each one of the following. A. Any break or crack in the bone is called. B. Viruses of animals bite can cause. 7. Match the followings. Column A. A. Dog bite. B. Banana pets. C. Bains. D. Nose bleeding. E. Fire extinguisher. Column B. 1. CO2. 2. Bionol. 3. Press the nose. 4. Dustbin. 5. anti in tectum. Activity time. Take a paper plate, pour water in it and put it on a flame. To your utter surprise, you will see that the water boils but the paper plate does not catch fire. This is because the water in the paper plate makes its surface cool, hence it does not catch fire. This is why water is used to extinguish fire. Hots 1. What is electroction? 2. Rohit comes from the school and picks an apple from fruit basket to eat. Is he doing right? Project time. 1. You can make a first aid box of your own. You will need a cardboard box, some cotton, plaster, bandage, scissor, iodex, burnal, detol, iodine, etc. 2. Make a chart on road safety.